Hi guys, welcome back to another video on Perry and Theo Nichols Pokemon and other stuff. Today in this video we're going to be showing our top 15 best pulls and best cards in our collection. We pulled these from our binder. If you agree with us, then comment down below saying I agree with your selection. Hopefully in the future we'll be getting some more Pokemon products to open up on this channel. It's been a bit of a struggle because um, the places that we've been getting our products from have been running low on stock. So we'll try and bring some products to show you um, on camera, hopefully in the future. Shine and Fate is coming out on the 16th of February 2021, so we're looking forward to that. And yeah, hopefully we can get some products of that and show it to you. If you realise what we're using, this mat is Hidden Fate, and hopefully we can see what mat is f and better. Again, featuring Shiny Charizard, which is here. So let's get into this in top top in our top fifteen cards. So first we start off with fifteenth place. Here we go. And it is Jesse and James, full art trainer. And um, we pulled this in our Christmas opening. Rowan pulled out of his Roichi Hidden Fates tin. Brilliant card this is. Still worth about £17 or so. Lovely card. I'll get it out quickly for you so you can have a quick look. Don't like to take them out too much because keep them in as good as condition as possible. Nice card there. Jesse and James, a very playable trainer in the um, TCG. So that's number 15. Number 14 goes to... Burnett GX Shiny. This was pulled in Perry's birthday opening in his um, Premium Hidden Fates collection box featuring um, Gold, Solgaleo and Lunara and Shiny Rayquaza. Be on the lookout and see if they do come in this um, top 15 best cards in our collection. Just be on the lookout. So Burnett GX Shiny. Good condition as well really shiny these cards and again quite a playable card in the online TCG Rowan's joined us for this second bit he's just finished off with his trades on Roblox Perry is going to be in the room with us but he won't be talking as much as he didn't volunteer to do it so third place goes to Boswell GX Full Art the most valuable card in Crimson Invasion, a very, very playable card. And Primetime Pokemon, this was the set where he started to play quite competitive. What do you call it again? Competitive. Yeah, quite competitive um, Pokemon in the tournaments and that. Very nice condition as well. Perry pulled this, funny enough, in the back of our dad's car on the way back from um, Smith's getting the cards. So, nice on, right yeah, on. Um, this is, hang on, that's three, so, card 12, what is it going to be, Rowan? It's going to be, oh, like, Mag I don't know how to say Magladol that. and God's Lord GX Ultra Beast, go and check out our playlist that we've set up on our channel, Rowan did pull this from his copper jar, V, box, very nice pull from, um, what's it, oh, Cosmic Eclipse, wasn't it, yeah, this is the alternate art, and um, the other full art of this is in yellow. This is in a dark brown colour. Just quickly get it out of its sleeve. Show it. Mint condition. Yeah, mint. Trying to keep as m these cards in as good as possible condition, so we can when we're a little bit older and we s maybe stop collecting Pokemon, we can um, get them graded and see how much they're actually worth. This is 11th, isn't it? Yeah. And it goes to Umbreon GX Rainbow Rare from Base Set Sun and Moon. Very nice card. Still worth about £26. 26 pounds. Yeah. Very, very nice card. And in um, Hidden Fates, it's worth about £60 for the shiny. Unbelievable price tag on this card. And we got it for a very good deal. 
Well, Perry yeah, Perry traded it. it. Look at the shine on that thing. Wow. Rainbow rares are absolutely brilliant. Especially when you pull them. Best feeling when you collect Pokemon. Can I do the next one again? Yeah, this is number... Hang on. Ten. Number ten. And it goes to... Uh, oh, Shine and Rayquaza. Shine and Rayquaza. This is from Perry's birthday box. A very, very nice um card. And it's got a good um damage to it on break dam dragon break. This attack does thirty damage times the amount of the basic leaf energy and basic lightning energy Theo? attached to your Pokemon. How much is the price of that? Like oh, 60, I think there's forty something. Or was it sixty? I'm not sure. Yeah, I did total up our Pokemon cards and it was in dollars because the um app that we use is what Primetime Pokemon uses and he does live in America and it's called um if you want to download it it's on the Play Store or Apple Store and it's called TCG Player gives you all the price um price guides and everything and this and our collection came up as nine hundred certain dollars but we convert that to English pounds and it comes to around seven hundred pounds. So there's Rayquaza. Mad for cards. Number eight, if Rome would like to get it. Number eight goes to. Ooh, who is it? Warp oh, Energy. I got that out of my Pokeball. Perry, no, Rowan, sorry, got this out of his Pokeball, which he um got with his leftover birthday money, I think. I got for Christmas, I think. Was it Christmas or was it with your birthday or Christmas money? And what a card this is. Guys, guess how much um, money all of our tins are together. Yeah, do you want to quickly see all our tins? We've stacked them up. £200 worth of tins. Oh, all up there. £200 because each tin um, costs about £20 each. £220 actually. Lovely card. There's Warp Energy again. This is number seven. This is number seven. Let's have a look. My turn to get it. Ooh, BA. BA full art trainer going for about $22. Um, um, but now it's in English pounds about £20 because we um, convert it to English pounds. Very, very playable card as well from Vivid Voltage. Discard the top five cards off your deck and, and attach any energy cards you discarded in this way to your benched fighting Pokemon in any way you like. Very nice Pokemon. And I reckon this will be a quite collectible card in the future as the set gets older. Sorry if you can hear Perry in the background, he's just talking to Rowan about um, Bubblegum Simulator trading some pets. So how many cards we got left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, number seven goes to Lunala GX Rain. I oh, know, not Rainbow Rare. Gold. This is from Perry. the Perry's Yet yeah, Premium Hidden Fates Collection Box. Going for about fourteen pounds or so. Depends on the condition. And this is a very, very nice card. Originated from base set Sun and Moon, travelled a long way, then travelled all the way up to Cosmic Eclipse. Then um, Solgaleo and Lunala teamed up together. Very nice card. Condition is perfect. Maybe the centering is a bit off, but that's the way Pokemon goes. You never know when what condition they come in. I'll do the next one. Um, number six goes to. Who is it going to be, Rowan? Oh, don't, Rowan. That was, sorry. that was close. Goes to Reshiram and Trazard. Believe it or not, again, we pulled this off camera, sadly enough. I always, oh, I think I screamed my head off when I pulled this off because I thought, oh, how unlucky. Sorry. It could have been the, but yeah, sorry if you did see the other cards. Hopefully you didn't. It was a bit of an error from Rowan there, but he will do the next one. I thought I picked up the... First one, this one. Yeah. Reshiram and Charizard. 
I'm not sure. I'm not sure about and um, the price guide on this one because the price has been up and down due to people collecting them. Love, love this card. That's why. That's why we decided to put it in one of our best cards. Put that over there. Now it's the card. N now it's number five. And it's top five. Now. Top five now. It's getting a bit intense. Comment down below what the fa what the best card in the top five is. It is. One of my and let us know in the comments what your favourite overall card was in this top fifteen cards from our binder. This is one of my favourite cards. And it goes to Solge Solgaleo Gold. Yeah, I I've gotta be honest with you, Ryan, it is an impressive card. Like I said, Lunar and Solgaleo have come a long way in the online TCG. The online trading card game. Look at it. Look at the shine on that. Absolute brilliant of a card. Good condition. Would you like to do the top four as well? And the fourth one, Rowan? Yeah. So number four goes to. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, a quasar shiny. And believe it or not, we did pull this card on camera. Go and check out um, the two Vivid Voltage Checkling Blister Pack opening. And this was the card we pulled. I'm not going to get this one out because I want to keep this as good condition as possible because it is, you never know how much they go for because um, if it's about right condition it could go for the basic price but if it's more than um, brilliant, you never know um, how much they're going to go for. So there's the great way crazer. So it also has rainbow bits from the energy. Yeah, yeah, it's all everywhere. Right, Look, right, all yeah. down here and everything. Down there, right. down here, and on the top there on the energy. It's, it's, that's what it's called an amazing card. Amazing card, they nickname it, and that's why it says a number A in the bottom. I'm sorry if you can't see it. It's all the um, shine. Sorry if you can't see that. Mm -hmm. Top three now. What is it going to go to? Top three. Third place goes to Aggie slash V Max Rainbow Rare, and we did pull this on camera, and we did call the title the best Pokemon open we have ever opened. And I think we pulled three regular V's, and then the V Max Rainbow Rare. Unbelievable card! I am going to get this one out, but I'm going to have to be very careful. Here it is, Aggie slash V Max Rainbow Rare. Right, Theo, you get to do the f final card. I'll do. Yeah, all right. I'm trying to remember what card it was. First. Second. Second place goes to. Dun, it's gonna be. Dun, dun. Shining Mew, and believe it or not, this card is three years old, it's but it's still going for seventy-four pound. £74 still for Shine and Mew. Um, I think I think I started off at £40 and, or £50 when it first came out and the price guy was given. But as it's got more um, collectible and valuable, it's gone up by £20 more. Pounds. Unbelievable card. As you notice, just the figure and um, the picture of the character Mew is textured. The rest of the card is a basic card. And then Shine and Mew says up there. Brilliant card. Let's quickly get it out. It's not pristine, unfortunately, because it has got a little crease going across. But rest of the card is. I'm sure, you didn't notice that. Absolute brilliant. It looks mint. Yeah, you can. You, you and your friend have a bit of a scratch. Oh no. Uh, blame that one on me, I took it to school. Was it you? Yeah. yeah, and believe it or not, I, Rowan, remind me today that to when um, we, oh, goodness me. At our old house. Yeah, at our old house, 
we were um looking through for oh actually we were looking for a pen and, and I saw they 